perhaps as much as 100,000 books might be at risk of being lost and destroyed at the present time in Canada, and the situation is very, very serious indeed. Many libraries have already closed. Um, for example, uh, one of the one of the first uh, private Ukrainian libraries I ever visited was the Ukrainian National Home Library in Winnipeg. It was a magnificent old library. Yaroslav Ronitsky talks about it in his survey of Ukrainian libraries that he did in the 1950s. And he described it as the best organized, most heavily used Ukrainian library and the richest Ukrainian library in Canada. It's gone. It no longer exists. And there are many other libraries like that that no longer exist, especially in the smaller cities in, uh, in Western Canada where there was once a vibrant Ukrainian community and that community no longer uh, is there. So all of those types of libraries either have already disappeared or are in the process of disappearing. As to the number of libraries, each Canadian city has probably has a different number, but there are several here in Toronto, there are several in uh, Winnipeg, there are a few in Montreal, there are uh, is at least one very important library in, in Saskatoon, in Saskatchewan, uh, and there are several in Alberta as well. Um, we don't really know much about these books because some of them are don donated by elderly people, dropped off at libraries, and the libraries don't have the funds to hire librarians to uh, access them and catalog them properly and put them on the shelf. And all of these things, and there may be, might be many treasures among them, are, in are presently in danger of being destroyed, discarded, or, or simply lost. One possible solution to this crisis, and it's a very serious crisis indeed, uh, is the establishment of some kind of central institution, properly funded, who can, which can uh, uh, determine uh, which libraries are in greatest danger and uh, which books are in greatest danger of disappearing. Uh, to, to cover all of the Ukrainian libraries in Canada would be a very difficult thing, but to cover the most important ones, say in Montreal, in Toronto, in Winnipeg, in Edmonton, in Saskatoon, is a doable thing. And perhaps with uh, five to ten million dollars, uh, these libraries and uh, can be saved, librarians can be hired, professional librarians who know what they're doing can be hired, and uh, the books can be preserved so that future generations can enjoy the fruits of the work of the uh, earlier uh, Ukrainians uh, in Canada who themselves worked very, very hard to put these libraries together and really uh, um, did a marvelous uh, thing for Canadian culture, which in my opinion should really be preserved.